G'day everyone, T Nick back here in OpenTTD now with 100% new microphone. Uh, hopefully the sound quality is a little better for you folks playing at home. Uh, I'm no longer using a headset mic, I'm now using a desktop mic. So hopefully you can hear me clearer. However that may be to my detriment because I think my voice is very annoying. I think everyone thinks their voice is very annoying, but in my case I know it because I've heard enough of it. It's definitely a thing but unfortunately that is the voice I am stuck with so what are we doing today I would like to keep expanding our network down here to the south I mean we've got a couple of towns down here that, that are just begging to be connected we've got Tillythwaite and Trettchester Trettchester that's fun to say uh, we've also got access to Bodstow Island and Reaway 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 I don't think that's a thing. Well, it is now. Uh, so what I'm thinking is we'll be running a ferry from... T no, okay. Well, first we'll be fixing trams. But, you know, the, the theory is we'll be running a ferry service from Tillythwaite down here to Reaway and Bodstow Island. And then we'll just run a ferry between them as well. Uh, let's just rename you as an island so we know that you are an island because we couldn't tell you're an island from looking at you. I said island too many times. Uh, oh, oh, dear. We're having some problems on the coal roads too. I swear we got rid of some of these trains. Why do we have so many trains? But boy, look at that backlog. Woo -hoo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Yeah, okay. So before we fix uh, Tommy the tram here, yeah, yeah, I'm aware. We are going to have to attend to this uh, the little coal mine that could. Look, it it's definitely winding down. I mean, 132% of its estimated capacity. I think it's time we call it a day. We'll, uh, we'll limit it to one train uh, left, I think. Everything else will just scrap. So... Uh, which train do we want to keep? I guess we'll keep the back one in the queue. Actually, no, let's see who the oldest train is and we'll keep him running because obviously, well, we can scrap him when he's done. Uh, remaining lifetime. Okay, I'm not sure how that ordered it. Maybe you're the newest one? Yeah, okay. So we want to keep you in service. Uh, stop sharing, please. And everyone else, we are going to send you to the depot after you've completed a run and you are going to stop. Now, we've got some trams to fix, don't we? Uh, we'll get to building in a minute. Be, be patient. Now, we've got two sets of trams running around Feenham City, and I would wager they are both ready for expiry. So we're going to need to generate some replacements. Now, how many of you are there, first of all? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, what was that, 37? 19. Okay, so 10 of each, and uh, how are they doing? Uh, oh, that's right. We're not using that station. Uh, they're not doing very well. We have a uh, significant backlog. Okay, no, we only have a significant backlog of passengers at that station and that one, but not this one. Transport tycoon logic. What are you going to do? Uh, so we will need to build. Let's just build the alpha. Let's get, uh, let's say 12. What's that? That's 10, uh, 12. Why did I build them all like that? That was stupid. Sell them all again. Build one. Come on. You've, you've played this game before. You know how it works. And then we clone it. There we go. That wasn't so hard, was it? Uh, it just occurred to me I did it wrong again because I shared orders instead of just copying because obviously we want to get rid of these, uh, these old buggers. We don't want them continuing in service. Did it again. Stop sharing. Now clone. Okay, third time's a charm as they say. Off you go. And that means we can send you. Well, you don't have a depot assigned to you. Fair enough. Uh, we can send you back to that depot to stop when you are done. Uh, so that is the whatever direction that was sorted out. We will now sort out the other direction, whatever that may be. Uh, you also need a depot added to your list. Uh, we'll make that service. Yes, service, please. Uh, and now we will obviously need to replace that tram in the same fashion. Hopefully we can get it right this time. Uh, oh my god, all the new trams have arrived. It's going to be very hard to pinpoint exactly which tram needs replacing at this right? Uh, so we'll just wait for him to separate out from the pack. Good lord, it's like a tram train. Or a light rail. It's definitely something. Uh, so stop sharing now. And we will clone, uh, we'll say 12 of you as well. Ooh, we're up to the hundreds now. That's a lot of road vehicles. Uh, so send out the new ones, and of course, the old ones will now go back here to stop, and that should replace all of them. Yeah, all the Phenium City ones are, are coming too old. That's good. We'll, we'll leave them be for now. 
Uh, let's instead head back to the main purpose of the day's adventure. Uh, we'll, we'll pop the tree transparency back on again because, well, the trees are annoying. Now, to connect up Trechester, I would, oh my god, with the old vehicles. No one cares. This is the problem with road vehicles in this game is you just get inundated. Well, there goes a steel mill. whoop de doo uh, train 54, good. We'll keep you just in case we need another coal train somewhere else. Okay, the backlog is continuing. Uh, right, let's just uh, let's just skip everyone past the coal mine for now, and you can all just rack off to the depot and uh, be be depoted, stored. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, so all of you, except you, I think you're the. Uh, are you the one we're keeping? No, probably not. Oh well, you can you can skip as well. Off you go. Here you go. Do your thing. And stop blocking our passenger train. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, good for Broly City. As I was saying, uh, to connect up Trechester, we'll probably extend the line up from Dunham through Trechester, and uh, and bring that line into Tillythwaite to terminate. Uh, likewise, to connect up Tillythwaite, we'll bring the line in from Lynnhaven through here and. Uh, yeah, look, I, we'll probably keep it going and bring it up uh, up to St. Dradingport and Stanbridge City that way. Just because, well, if you're coming from here to here, otherwise you've got to sort of trek all the way around in a big circle. And that just won't make us any money. So that's our long-term goal. So we'll need to build a station to that effect. Uh, so first of all, we'll need a dead-end platform or two for our, our terminating trains, obviously. So I'll throw down a couple of terminus platforms to start with. I uh, also need a funky station building. Uh, still can't build that lovely two track number. I don't think we've built this one for a while. Let's build that. That looks cool. I uh, also need a footbridge to get people across the through tracks because, well, obviously, if you're not, you know, if you're not terminating there, you want to go through. <laughs> pretty, pretty standard logic, I thought. Uh, we'll put some roofs down. No, that looks weird. Put some benches down. If it rains, you can just deal. And the obligatory pot plant. And we should be getting that full of trams soon enough. Uh, now, I'll probably keep the lines separate. I, I won't have them meet up at Tillythwaite just because it'll give trains an opportunity to get lost. And, ooh, a new forest opened up down here as well. Uh, that seems a very awkward place to build a forest when you could probably put one there. I say build a forest. It's obviously like a plantation sort of thing. But uh, we, we have an opportunity for a little shunting trip down to the docks. So we interrupt your schedule programming for more train building that is not the train building we were going to build. Trains. Uh, so we'll build a nice little buffer stop there. And we'll need a, I guess, a lumber station here. Just put a little, little shunting train. And probably don't need the fence around it because, well, the fence... Uh, isn't really serving much purpose. Uh, now, for the station in Trechester town, we'll probably build that over there and go around the town, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. I will build the station first, though, just in case we uh, tick off the town with our with our construction of, uh, what do you call it, uh, our, our industrial line here. Uh, so we'll probably put the station here, and I'd like to uh, just do a, a cheeky bus stop to, to increase the catchment area without having to build an actual bus route. Uh, I don't think we built this station building for a while, and if we have, sue me, it's been a you know a day or so since I've played this. Uh, good, so they can't ban us from building a station in town, even if we upset them. And we'll just need to build the same sort of dealio uh, down here at, uh, what was it, it was under stations, log station, please. And we can, we can beautify that in time. I just wanna get it connected up quickly so I don't get distracted by other things. Uh, so we'll run that down like that. Uh, actually, we probably don't need a buffer stop down here when we can extend out and put a depot in. And then at the depot, we will build, let's build a little 040 industrial. He's, he's only bringing a couple of wagons and, and it's all downhill, so he should be pretty right with that. Uh, let's, can we fit? Yeah, we can fit four wagons on there. Uh, so if you could refit for wood, please. Get you to full load there. Come down here and then we will force you to unload and leave empty. And obviously you belong to that depot if you uh, ever need one. Uh, now let's let's uh, let's admire the majesty of our little 040 leaving. No, look at him, isn't he a cutie? He's going off to do good work. And hopefully that'll increase the profitability of our ships. Which, okay, well they don't really need any help. They're doing quite well for themselves. Yeah, they're, they're, they're okay. They're fine. 
Uh, good, plenty of trains getting parked up. Uh, well, I say good. I mean, if they're losing money, it's a good thing. Uh, turn the trees off. Now we need to connect up Trechester with Dunham. Ah, these these names will do my head in. Uh, we'll, we'll keep it keep it single track. That seems to be working. We don't really have many trains on this route uh, that I know of. I mean, I, I should know. I built it. Uh, now, can we line that up? We'll need a we'll need a bit of a bridge in there. So no, we'll have to we'll have to just duck in by one tile. Well done. That's that's lined up well. Uh, yeah, so we'll connect that up nicely. Uh, probably throw a passing loop in here, I guess. Uh, making it look intentional. There's a kink in the track there. That's right. All according to plan. That's my uh, that's my theory, and I'm sticking to it. You can believe it. You can not believe it. You can uh, you can just do whatever you want. Now we probably need one-way signals at this platform here for when we add more trains. But for now, I'm happy with extending up this service to Tret Chester and back to Dunham. Uh, so good, you've got the memo, you are now off. I bet you've taken some passengers hostage. Nope, just three bags of mail, okay. Well, hopefully people in Dunham wanted to send mail to Trechester because otherwise, pfft, good luck with that. Uh, one thing I did mention last time is I want to have a bus service between Trechester and Mesfield because again, if you're going from Mesfield to Trechester, maybe to do your shopping, you're going choo 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 choo, change trains, choo 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 choo, change trains, choo 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 choo. That's just to do that distance. That is just going to make money fall from the sky and not in a good way. See, I avoided profanities. I am a gentleman. Uh, can we build a proper bus stop down here, or do you hate us? Uh, yep, they hate us, as expected. This is why I built all of our stations first. So we will just have to use this one and have the buses come down here somewhere to turn around, I guess. They can turn around, not there. They uh, they really don't like us. Uh, we'll throw a depot in there then. Actually, that seems like a silly place for a depot. We will instead chuck it in here. Because well, what are you going to do, drive straight ahead into the forest? I don't think so. Uh, good, we're starting to get all our trams pile up. That should be all of them. 20 trams, gone. Yeah, you and here come the losing money trams. Yeah, that's a fun segment that we all enjoy. Now, we are going to need to connect up a road around this forest here. And it's going to need to go over the train line because I am by far a fan of level crossings except in this game when suicidal road vehicles charge across in front of trains and then explode in a very dramatic fashion. Uh, we're going to need to start going uphill, aren't we? That is not how I wanted to go uphill. That is very much not the definition of uphill in the slightest. Uh, let's let's put a cheeky tunnel in here. Ooh, that's a fancy tunnel. I'm, I'm a fan of that. Uh, we're going to need to get over the crest here in town. And uh, we're going to have to make it look slightly realistic. Just because... What are you doing there? Oh, that's right. I'm not building train tracks. and building road. Yeah, I, I really should have expected that to happen. Uh, we need to come down a bit. No, down. Down, down a bit. Down a bit. Yeah. Oh, we're still carving out big chunks of landscape. And we haven't built a bus stop here yet. And we're not going to. Right. Uh, that's, that's my bad. Let's just close the blinds so I don't get sun on me. Ugh, evil sun. No, I wanted to keep trees turned on. Keep the trees turned on. Uh, let's start by replanting trees where we've just smashed them aside. And then let's just plant a whole swath of trees. Now, I'll need some sort of interchange at the station. So hide the trees by doing that. And yay, they let me build a bus stop. Now they're going to hate me again because I've just smashed out some more trees. Uh, I'm, I'm never going to learn. I'm just going to do whatever I want. Uh, so smash down some more trees, probably ones we've just planted to build a depot. Ah, now back to carving out this poor hillside. Um, look, I think if we're sneaky, we can probably get this road down without too much more uh, demolition of the local environment. Hope I'm not missing anything important down the bottom. I, I probably missed some sort of train backlog again. Uh, yeah, that looks that looks reasonable, and I bet you hate us again. Yeah, do. Oh, well, we had it coming. Probably. Uh, what is going on over here? Was that us? Oh, that was us planting trees. That's right. Uh, whew, freaked out then. Uh, good. Plenty of trains parked up. Now, bus, 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 bus. What sort of bus do we have? Uh, we have the TFB Mark 1 bus. 24 k's an hour. 
Uh, look, it's better than the stupid steam bus that we tried to build before, so I guess we'll make a go of it. Uh, let's see, you're going to pick up there and run up to there, please. And that is your depot of choice if you need to surface. And we'll build, I guess, four to start with, see how that goes. Yeah, just uh, just give that a bit of a go. Let's let's hope that that gets us somewhere. Got this slow. Actually, we can uh, we can just have a turning circle in town by connecting the roads up. Duh. Don't know why that didn't occur to me. So go forth and uh, do bus related things. In fact, I'm going to confuse them all by making them turn around to try and space them out a bit. In fact, it just occurred to me that that'll space the first one out, and then the other three are all now stuck together. So let's just turn you around again. And that spaced them out, sort of, I guess. Uh, where are you turning around? You want to turn around there, okay. So I guess we'll turn you around again at some point to increase the spacing. I just hate having all my buses bunched up. It, it looks silly. Yeah, turn around again. Just just continue spacing yourself out. Uh, good. Hey, look, the train's made it. Well, the second train's made it, the first train. Ooh. Wow. Trechester, is, despite hating us, they've really embraced this new train line we built them. So, good for you. Uh, I will plan ahead, though, and put in one-way signals there. I'll leave that one there for now, but when we eventually double-track it, we'll need to, we'll need to correct that. We'll need to put one-way signals in there as well. Uh, it looks like this is a very popular station all of a sudden. Uh, most people are waiting for the ferry though, so I'd say everyone's getting off the train and waiting for the ferry, so that's fine. Uh, now, we're gonna need to keep extending this line. We'll go through a tunnel, just because, well, we've done enough damage to the environment around this town, so yeah, we, we probably don't need to damage it anymore. Uh, I did build double track tunnels because, well, we're planning for the future. Uh, we may as well stay sort of on the mountain, I guess, and drop into town this way. Uh, which which platform are we coming to? The terminus. So we, we can drop all the way down there. Whoop, don't mind me. I'm uh, I'm what is known as an idiot. Uh, it's a colloquial term uh, we, we share around. It's probably an Australian thing. But yeah, I am I am an idiot. Uh, so put down some signals. Is it 1920 yet? Can I build electric signals? No, no, I can't. It's 1906. Don't wish your game away. Uh, the, the more fun comes in the later years when you, you're trying to problem solve and, and build new lines despite, you know, having already filled most of the available map up with track anyway. Uh, we'll connect you up like that, connect you up like that, throw down a couple of signals, and Bob's your uncle. Assuming you have an uncle, Bob. If you don't, Bob is not your uncle. Uh, Bob might be a monkey's uncle, but he's not your uncle. Uh, we'll put down another passing loop there. And now we just need to find one of our heroic trains. Oh, we only have two on this route. Okay, we're probably going to need more because Trechester is uh, is doing quite well for itself. So if we could extend the line again to Tillythwaite. That's a silly name. And that has got our trains uh, quite well occupied, I would say. Yes, good. Hopefully we are starting to make it. We're not making a dent in this at all. Uh, most people want to go via Plesbrook Interchange, though or Rondgrove Rivers Docks. So that's the dock here or, or Placebook Interchange. So we can we can saturate both lines with trains to, to help improve our station on that line. Uh, where is a train on this line, however? You, you're what I need. Uh, I would like to clone you and have additional trains. And it just occurred to me talking about additional trains, I remembered what I promised I was gonna start this episode with and I have, well, spectacularly failed to make good on my promise. Uh, let me build a new railway line down the south. <laughs> when I was really going to put the 440 uh, Edwardian on our intercity trains up here. So how many intercity trains do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight. That's good. Uh, we also have 2,000 passengers waiting for them to show up. So that's less good. So I think we might move over to 10. Uh, but what I'm going to do... Oh, that's right. We have this iron ore train here too. I'm going to clone this train. Now bear with me, I know I just built another spinner and uh, I said we weren't going to need any more spinners. Uh, I'm then going to sell this spinner because, well, because very little time has passed, we basically get our money back. I'm then going to build a 440 Edwardian. Edwardian? Edwardian? I'm going to build one of them. Okay, so now that has the benefit of keeping it in this group and it also 
shares the orders. Uh, I won't share the orders though. However, I will build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more trains. So that should be a total of 10. All of them sitting up in this depot. Good for you guys. Uh, of course, all of them's gonna make a return trip from Broly City to Stanbridge City because of how I set the orders up. So that wasn't terribly smart on my part. Uh, but we will send them forth. Train 21 is getting old. Well, that's good timing because I can show you what I'm gonna do with the uh, we reasonably modern, well, reasonably new rather spinners we have on this route. So stop yakking and send the trains out. Turn the trees back on. We're not building anything at the moment. Close that. Oh, no, we don't want to close that. I want to bring that back. Come back. Uh, what are you? You're an Edwardian. Uh, I'm looking for one of the spinners that I had going. There he is. That'll do. You'll do. Uh, we'll send out more. Let's just send them all out at once. They'll figure it out. That's what signals are for. There is going to be an absolute bums rush of trains coming back here from Broly City in a minute. Now, obviously I took great pains to separate the orders of these trains and your timing is could not be more perfect because these guys are all going to head back to Stanbridge City Depot and come to a stop, much like as if we were going to scrap them because they were old. But they're not old. They're quite modern and they've got plenty of modern carriages behind them. This is why I keep my networks all interconnected, because we can take this train, which is only five years old, and use it to replace this old girl, who is 30 years old, or 29 years old, but coming up on a lifespan of 30. Uh, what that means is we will basically, when this, when this old girl gets into the depot, we will clear her orders, uh, put her orders onto this route here. Obviously, we'll need to change what group she's in as well. Don't let me forget that, because that, will be, that would be very bad if we forgot that. Uh, in fact, I'll do that now. Uh, what are we looking at? We're looking at the Stanbridge Intercity. There he is. Uh, so these guys here, the spinners, we want to ungroup them because they are no longer uh, intercity trains. Well, they will be until they get to the depot, in which case they won't be. So may as well get them out now. So the rest of them are the Edwardians. Good. So with this chap at the depot, uh, we can figure out what train 21 is. God knows. Which group do you fall in? How do I find out what group you're in? I do. Our trains in, oh, that's just the intercity trains. They've made a loss this year, probably because we've just sent a bunch of empty trains out of the depot. <laughs> That'll do it. So you are the Broly City to, you go to Sunningdon, you go to Placebrook. Oh, you're the Treeside Slopes local. Yeah, you're probably a train we're just gonna get rid of actually. We'll just, uh, we'll just put another train on the all stations route that comes through Treeside Slopes. So you're a bad example because we're not going to renew you. We're just going to we're just going to chop you up. Uh, unfortunately, you're not doing us any good. Or if you are, you're not doing as much good as the all stations train would be. Uh, they're just going to lose money, so we don't care about them. Are you the all stations, or are you an intercity? Uh, bro, no, you okay? We're looking for something that stops at Treeside Slopes. Uh, good. We have we have the local and we have the two all stations. So what I've got here is I've got an opportunity to put more trains on this route using the spare trains from the intercity route. So if I could get you, stop sharing and clear your orders, and I'll get you to copy those orders. And you're gonna to be too long for the station, so we'll, we'll also get you to leave a couple of carriages behind. Oh look, we've got another train we can use as well. Uh, I'll get you to do the same thing. And we'll just, we'll just chop off a couple of carriages and dump them at the depot here to make sure you are long enough, or short enough rather, to fit at Swinningdon and, uh, what's it called, uh, Treeside Slopes. So six and ten we can send forth, and then we'll just need to shoehorn them into the correct category up here. Uh, which is... I can't remember. Uh, all stops, it would be Broly to Feeningham. So six and ten, sorted. There we go. So the rest of the intercity trains will file back to the depot and we will redeploy them as we need them. In fact, we'll probably redeploy a couple of them onto this Dunham line down here, uh, which is which is a good idea. So hopefully we've got another couple going back to the depot. And it also means we've got a couple of spare carriages lying around next. No, I don't want to. I don't want to, I'm all wagon. Uh, we've also got a couple of spare carriages sitting around uh, for when we need them. Now, these trains here are, are a lot shorter, so we'll, we'll get a spare uh, covered carriage truck as well. Uh, yep, that's that's about what they look like. We'll keep it keep it uh, cohesive. Uh, stop sharing, and if you could copy. Oh, we've also got one that's getting old there, so we'll, 
We'll definitely need to prop up a few more trains there. Uh, so you, I know I'm doing about a million things at once here. It might be hard to follow. So we'll get you to go to Dunham Train Depot and stop so we can scrap you. Probably keep the carriages though because I like these white and green numbers. And we'll find another train in this depot, 18. We've already deployed you. And we'll also need to put you on the list. Uh, good Lord, we got a lot of windows open. So what did I decide you were? You were a Broly City South Coast Line. Oh, 21 and 22 are both getting old. Ugh, when it rains, it pours. Uh, so ungroup trains. Which train did we just send out on that line? 18. 18, you are now Broly City South Coast Line. Good. Uh, hopefully another train's heading back to the depot shortly and we can uh, we can redeploy him on this line as well. Uh, okay, now let's just close everything. That's one way to solve that problem. Just hit the delete key and everything goes away. And is that a bank I see? It is. Do we have access to that bank? No, we do not. Bugger. I was, uh, I was seeing a great little triangle of banks here between Stanbridge and Winburg and Stanbridge and Feeningham where we could make a lot of money from valuables. In fact, if we put a cheeky truck stop in the middle of town, we could probably access that bank. Uh, if we, we, can, we, can we attach that? Yeah, we can. There we go. Just our little secret. No one needs to know. We, we, oh, look, it now accepts valuables. Oh, isn't that exciting? Yay. Uh, so if one of my other intercity could trains could come back and not jam everything up, that'd be great. Look at the mess we've created here. Uh, but yeah, that's my that's my policy for replacing trains is rather than building a new train of an outdated model like the spinner, uh, you're not a spinner, are you? No, you're an Edwardian. Uh, I will I will instead upgrade the spinners on the major routes and then redeploy them on lesser routes uh, as I've been doing here. In fact, here we go. We've got another one. So we also need to deploy you onto the Dunham route. Uh, so we will get you. What do we? We'll chop that off. Uh, chop a few carriages off. Look at all the spare carriages we have sitting around. And you will now switch over to that line. Off you go. And we'll of course again need to sort you out. Uh, what, what was that we just sent out? It was 11. So if you could go onto the Broly City South Coast Line too, that'd be great. And you are obviously a freight train, so we'll chuck you over there at this point. Uh, good. Okay, so 22 is now at the depot, so we'll scrap the old engine. Actually, no, we'll, we'll send the old depot, uh, the old depot, the old engine, up to this depot here so it can be in the pool with everyone else. Uh, so we've got access to his carriages. So if you could uh, make sure to select the depot, not the train. Otherwise, he'll just copy his orders. And if you could make your way up there somehow. He's, he's probably going to get a bit lost because he's coming from this depot here. He can easily trace a line up to Broly City, but then he's got to double back to Stanbridge City. So I'm hoping he turns around here. That's probably wishful thinking. He's probably going to go on an adventure all the way up here until he can find somewhere to turn around. So we'll just sort of, we'll just wait for him to come back. We're, we're not in a hurry. Uh, but I would like to set up a valuables train now that we've got access to this bank. Uh, in fact, it, it'd be great if we had some spare spinners sitting around. Oh, oh, oh look at that, we do. Isn't that magnificent? Uh, we've also got a lot of spare carriages. That's, <laughs> that's a lot of spare carriages. Go us. Uh, now, valuables, we can only transport them in six-wheel coaches at the moment. Uh, we can't transport them in XP vans, no. Nor siphon, nor covered carriage trucks. Yeah, so six-wheel mail coach is the best we've got at the moment. We, yeah, I know. I'm, that's why I'm sending you to the depot. Uh, thankfully, the spinner only has a top speed of 112 anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but let's get... Uh, let's, let's see. What's that? Will that be enough? Four tile long, that'll do. Uh, I'll do the same again. What was that? 3.5 worth. Put you up there. You two, refit to carry valuables, please. And eventually, when we want to remove mail wagons from our passenger trains, because we want high-speed passenger trains, we can, uh, we can run dedicated mail trains as well. Which is, uh, which is nice. Uh, so you, uh, let's get you some new orders. If I could get you to full load at Stanbridge City, please. Uh, that's your depot, by the way. And then you will run all the way up here to Windberg Bay City, please. And if you could try and full load valuables there too. Uh, I've refitted you, haven't I? Yes, good. Off you go, sunshine. Yeah. 
you go out and, and earn us some coin there. And you, uh, if you could do the opposite, you can, well not the opposite so much, uh, you can full load at Stanbury City, Stanbridge City rather. And if I could send you over to Feenham City please, to do your valuable thing over there, that would be super. And Train 21, you've got six wheel carriages so you're now scrapped. Bye bye friend. Train 22 is going to complain because that's the one we're sending to the depot and it's going to complain a lot. Uh, Ron Grove Rivers now accepts goods. Well, that's fantastic. Uh, train 23. Oh, good. We've got another. We've got another intercity train come home to roost. So chop the carriages off, and we'll put valuables cars on there as well. I reckon. Uh, stupid six wheel, freaking mail van. Useless. Uh, no, not the carriage. We want the mail van. Uh, now, where did we send that valuables train? He should be... Actually, you should be loading the station here. Good. Are you the... You're the Winberg Bay one. I might put you on the route, the longer route, because that way we've got a better turnaround time. Uh, so stop sharing. Uh, delete your orders. If you could copy this chappy. But instead of coming here and blocking the third platform, if you could go the opposite direction to Feeningham City, that would be just great. Uh, train 22. He did turn around at the depot. He is the hero we all need. That's good. Uh, there's another factory. Well, we've lost a lot of factories recently. Now, with the potential for three valuables trains full loading here, we have the potential to jam up every single platform. Now, that is not an option uh, that I want to entertain happening, and it could quite easily happen where we get a big backlog of intercity trains because they can't access a vacant platform. So, Always in Transport Tycoon, the rule is if you have three trains set to full load and you have other trains using that platform, have at least four platforms. Always have one platform that cannot possibly be occupied by a train just sitting there waiting for a full load. Uh, we'll need to keep your, uh, your affinity open, for want of a better term, because we are going to... Oh good, we've got another one. Well, you can be a valuables train once we've uh, sorted this, this platform issue out. And look, Train 22 found his way here. Good, scrapped. Uh, and we'll just distribute your carriages down here uh, accordingly. Look at that, we, we retrofitted the first class to our, our existing carriages. Good for us. Uh, now, I want to keep this open because obviously we're going to be smashing some trees down. Uh, in fact, I might actually send you on your way so the station is free for us to develop. How have we got more passengers here? We've just built more trains. Jesus. We're going to need to build more intercity trains out of, uh, out of this town. Uh, yep, that's good. Don't care because I want to extend. No, I'm not building a freight platform. I want to extend this up to five. I really want to go for six tracks, but I'm afraid they won't. Well, oh, very good. Okay, we've got to be careful. We we may be upsetting the apple cart a bit here. Yeah. Yeah. No. Station two spread out. Okay. Stand by. Uh, we'll just change one of those settings in the settings window. Uh, this is one of the more advanced settings that I can never find. Uh, limitations. Here we go. Uh, maximum station spread. Here we go. 12 tiles. Yeah, we'll just bump that up to about 25. Uh, and that should solve that problem. That is an old transport tycoon limitation. Uh, now, I'd like to put in a couple of terminating platforms here for trains coming from St. Driding Port or from the north because I'd, I'll saturate this line with high capacity intercity trains instead of uh, suburban trains. Uh, so, We'll probably want two dead end platforms at most, so we'll put them in like that now. Uh, can we build a new station building? Ooh, we can build station halls and fancy things. Yeah, let's do that, let's do that. <laughs> uh, what do we want, platforms? Uh, we need to build the big one. Yeah, yeah, big one. Who doesn't like the big one? I like the big one. Uh, we'll throw in one of you. Let's put a little one in next to it. Yeah. Actually, let's put a little one in on either side and then put a roof in here, and we'll have to come up with a new station building somewhere. But cross that bridge when we come to it. We're down to good, uh, which isn't great. Get it? Uh, so we've got, what, what do we got? One, two, three, four platforms available for through trains. Yeah, it's not probably a, not enough if we're gonna have four valuables trains coming in here, so I might have to ditch this whole terminus platform idea, at least in the short term. Uh, obviously trains can still turn around there, I just wanted to give them their own dedicated platforms. Uh, while they think we're good, we might actually be able to get away with putting them up, up on an elevated position. 
no, look, we'll just leave it for now. But we'll, we'll keep that uh, arrow in our quiver that we want to expand and that I'm glad we didn't demolish too much because the stupid town has decided to spread out uh, and block out our li line extension. So I bet now that we're really not popular. Oh, no, we're still good. We're still good. It's still good. It's still good. Uh, town just dislikes us a little. It's still good. It's still good. Now we're going to have to connect this up with the junction down here, which might get a bit messy. Uh, they're certainly going to hate us now. Because I've just recklessly smashed aside a butt ton of landscape. Butt ton, that's a measurement. Uh, we'll remove these signals. Now, I want to extend this. Yep, yeah, that's going to work. Uh, I'm going to actually move the inbound tracks, rather. Uh, so if we could extend... Yes, that's good. So I want the inbound tracks coming in sort of centralised. No, I've, I've gone too far. I always go too far. Yeah, I want, I want to have the inbound tracks sort of coming in in the middle here. So we've got sort of potential for um, for a good junction, but a central junction rather than having the two tracks coming on this side and having trains have to cross over too much is something I want to avoid. So I'll leave it as three tracks coming in just to, just for a bit of variety. But I will need to make sure every track can get in and get out again. So we'll put in track like that and we'll extend this track up like this and extend that up like that. So that way, no matter what platform you're on, even if it's this one, you can still get out by going down through these points here. And obviously you can come in this way. And coming in, you can still come in, cross over here, cross over here to get into this platform and go out the same way. Uh, so we'll just connect up a bit more track. Uh, do we want to put in another set of points coming across like this? I decree that we sort of do. I just, I like to give my trains options so they can go, what did I send you to the depot for? Which, oh, you, did I upgrade you? No? I can't remember why I sent you to the depot. Uh, well, we'll just, we'll just leave you up here. We'll just sit on you for a little while and uh, try and remember why I sent you there in the first place. If you could remind me, that'd be fantastic. No, you stay in mute, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, as I said, I'd like to put a set of tracks in like this, and probably another one in here, and uh, yeah, maybe another couple in up here, just to give my trains options. Just so if they if they come in, they can go around a train going out maybe. It, it's always good to have a little bit of extra trackage, as long as it doesn't let trains get too lost. Uh, just, just to give trains options, because you know a train could be coming in here and decide to go down here uh, to get around a train maybe coming out of a depot on this track. I, I don't know why he would. He'd come out of the depot like this. But yeah, certainly a train could come in. Uh, that's a terrible example because he would just use this track here. But you, you get what I'm saying. You, you can you give trains options. They can route around yeah, route uh, route around other trains and uh, and get to where they need to go. So. Uh, yeah, we'll leave that as a, a turning around signal there. I was going to consider making this a one-way track, but I don't know what benefit that would give us. Now, the other side of the station, obviously, all the tracks will need to converge again, uh, smash apart a lot more landscape, and just earn the uh, earn the wrath of the town if we try and expand the station again in the next five million years. As long as we're not upsetting uh, St. Grad in port. No, they don't even know we exist. They don't know we've taken out half a mountain on this side of the map. That's fine. Uh, so connecting up signals, connecting up with signals there, and then we will just connect up uh, with a, just a, a simple junction on that side because we don't have a depot to tangle with. And we will put in, yes, I put the signal on the right side this time. Huzzah! Uh, good, things will keep losing money. Now, why did we send you to the depot? Uh, you're not sharing your orders, so it's obviously intentional. Uh, you are on the Dunham line, but surely you're fine to be on the Dunham line. Or oh, was this one of the ones, maybe we copied the wrong orders from the wrong train and it sent him to the depot by mistake. So if you could copy that train instead, yes, that, that should be better. Uh, so go forth and, and do whatever it takes to be done. Uh, now, train 24, we were going to use you as a valuables train, weren't we? Now that we've got the extra platform capacity. Uh, I think we we're going to send you on the northern leg. Let's play find that valuables train. That's not it. That's not it. Is that it? 
Come on, come out of the tunnel. No, that's not it. Okay, keep going. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Is that it? Where have you come from? Feeningham City. Go I found a valuable train. It's just the wrong one. Uh, here's one. What are you doing? You, you, you know, you're loading at Winburg. You've come from Stanbridge. We found him. We found him. Crisis averted. Uh, so if we could drop all your carriages off, uh, that would be great. No, I want to drop the car. No, now I've dropped the covered carriage truck. This is getting messy in this depot. We're going to need some sort of depot shunter to organize it for us. There we are. Problem solved. Oh, so we need to get you some valuables trucks, and we're going to need to expand this uh, this station here for the same reason we expanded Stanbridge, because otherwise we're going to end up with too many valuables trains, and they're all going to block the world. So 3.5 length, please. That makes it a four. Uh, train 24 we need. If you could copy the orders of train three, that'd be great. Off you go, on your bike. So now... Uh, well, what am I leaving Winburg Bay City for? We are going to need to expand this terminal. In fact, we're definitely going to need to expand it. We're getting a lot of uh, a lot of trains coming through here. So how are we going to do this? We're definitely going to need another three to four platforms on here. Uh, good thing the town likes us so much. Yes, they think we're outstanding. Good. No, I was I was bluffing. I, I didn't know. Uh, we're going to be knocking out a lot of trees though. So this could go either way. Uh, so footbridge. Let's have a look. We can, we can do a maximum of seven tracks. Ooh, Ooh that actually worked. Can we do the pop plan as well? Oh, swish. Uh, let's put down some more station halls. I do love me a good station hall. Uh, how big do... Why did we not make that the full length of the station? Why did we not make it a length four? That looks so much better. What's wrong with you? Uh, do we want to do a sort of a centralized design like at uh, Stanbridge? I have selected yes. So I'll put that there. Now we'll put a roof in uh, sort of here. Actually, is that going to line up? Because then we have a new one there, one, two, and then we're going to have to put a roof there. It's eh, not really going to work, is it? Eh, oh, no, we can always put this this little fella down instead. Uh, over. Uh, oh, we can put that in the middle, actually. Ho, 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 swish. That looks cool. Uh, now we're going to have to extend this one to two by four because it's currently two by three in the... Roof doesn't really extend all the way. Uh, so we need to get all trains out of this station. Uh, can we stop you outside of the station? We can. We can stop you here. And these two trains will block any new trains coming into the platform. Hit the fast forward button to get the existing trains out. And we should be able to just boom. And then restart you guys like that. Good. Now we have a massive, unrealistically large station well, it's not that unrealistically large. They've, they've got far bigger stations out there in the real world. Uh, but we need to rejig the tracks. Now, this track here comes in a straight line. So if we want to rejig it, we're going to have to do a lot of rebuilding. That's a thing. Uh, oh, oh, actually, this was going to be a junction to uh, Pinshaw and up in this direction. So why not build a second main line through here? and just have all the main lines connect up sort of before the platform so trains can use whatever track they want. Uh, I, th I think that's a that's a viable option. We're just gonna have to do it around 50 bazillion trains. So the new main line will come out here, uh, just spitballing, and by spitballing, I mean actually building tracks, and it'll come up here, I guess. Good, now we just need to connect it up in such a way so that, well, you know, through trains can go through and non-through trains can not go through. Right, okay, I think I fixed it now. Sorry, I just had to uh, had to do that off camera because there was a lot of bulldozing and fiddling around and because we were still running trains, it, uh, yeah, it, it, it required a lot of uh, fiddling around and I just wanted to concentrate there. So I think I have fixed Windberg Bay City Yard. Uh, we are going to have a few trains getting a bit confused. Yeah, we've got quite a backlog caused by my uh, construction efforts. Mostly because I haven't restarted you. No, mostly because I haven't finished putting the signals in. Uh, well, in that case, welcome back to me putting signals in. Uh, so we'll just throw down a couple more here. So hopefully we don't get too much of a backlog here. Uh, that should be all the signals I've forgotten. Uh, but what we're looking at now is we're looking at inbound trains all funneling up this track and then they split into three. Now, the terminating trains are forced to go through the yard box, whereas the through trains, they can go through any platform from here up to here. 
They don't have to though. In fact, I've just spotted another couple of signals here. Ah, good. So they can choose any platform from here all the way up to here. They will, however, as you can see, the cold train is done, default to these ones because there are no backing signals in the way. So they will come up here and, and automatically try and get through these. Uh, now, this poor bloke here is a valuables train who didn't get the memo to go through the yard box, so he will get confused, but he'll sort himself out and we can just leave him to it. So yeah, northbound trains will come through these platforms here by default, but they can get through up to um, pretty much everyone except this, this southernmost platform here. Uh, and as you can see, they can all retrace back onto this line here. The only issue is uh, trains that can come in from our new line up here can only get down here, but they can only get out that way as well. So we don't have to worry about them coming into this platform here and not being able to get back out that way. Now, as for southbound trains, they all come in here as normal. The most they can cross over to is this platform here, and then of course they can cross over to get back out again, uh, which is why we've got both platforms available at Windberg Bay City Woods. So everything should return to normal there. I hope that description's been clear. Uh, obviously this bridge here is for southbound trains wanting to head out towards this area here, which we will extend to in good time. But once again, sorry I didn't uh, record that rebuilding on, on camera there, but it just, it just seemed a lot easier to just get it done without disrupting the trains too much. Uh, but again, I come back to the whole, the whole thing we started off with today. We've, we've had plenty of distractions, and I just really want to connect up Lynthaven to Tillythwaite and set our ferries in motion to finish things off today, which was, of course, the whole goal of the episode. So now getting over this mountain is going to be no easy task. So I'm thinking what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to bring the mountain to us. Uh, we're going to have to bring the track ups, tracks up, tracks up here a bit. Uh, we're going to put some more signals in in good time. But we're going to need to skirt along the edge of the mountain, which will limit how many trains we can put on this route. Uh, because obviously to knock down this, this slope here will involve taking a big chunk out of the entire mountain. Not something I'm keen to do. I mean, just as an example, this is how much land we would need to move for every tile we lower there. Yeah, that's a lot of land and a lot of trees would be, uh, would be destroyed as a result. So we'll tunnel through that bit of mountain because it just well, it seems preferable to going over the top, obviously. And uh, yeah, we'll need to somehow get back down again over here. Tunnel, uh, mountain descending is uh, not my strong suit, but I'll do my best. In fact, I think we can just drop it down. We can just drop it down a straight line. But I really oversold that. I thought that was gonna be a heck of a lot more difficult than it was. Will be difficult to double track this line though. I mean, we can probably double track up to about here. In fact, I might do that now just to just to make it easier in the future. Um, just just run a run a double track up here like that. Uh, yeah, just just in the future. In fact, we might we might end up swapping over the buffer stops to this side because this might end up being the hard line to duplicate and thus limit how many trains we can run on it. So we'll we'll have to play it by ear and see how we go there. I'll uh, put in a crossover for now just because this will obviously be the temporary terminus until we can get uh, get the line extended back up to, uh, where, where's it going next? Up to St. Driding Port and then into Stanbridge City that way. Uh, now I'm gonna put following signals for this tunnel. Uh, yeah, be very careful with following signals. We've, well, why are you lost? You, you're turning around there. What do you care? I, um, that's That's weird. Uh, we'll make these one-way signals. We'll get rid of this fella, and once he's crossed over, we can get rid of the we can get rid of the uh, diamond. But yeah, so you can now safely extend from Lynthaven down to Tillythwaite and back through Lynthaven again, please. Uh, so we'll just get rid of this diamond crossing here because it is now superfluous. Uh, we'll smash aside a couple of signals there and put in some more uh, autos down here just to stop our trains getting banked up. Now, be very careful with following on signals here. Because I now have this signal here and this signal here, what we'll see is we'll see a train, if two trains are following each other, once one train goes through the tunnel, in fact, I've actually, I've actually put them in the wrong spot. And we'll get rid of this one here and then put this signal in here. So once one train gets into the tunnel, that will free up another path to come down to this signal here. Now the risk with, oh, I didn't mean to go over there. 
Now, the risk with following on signals when you've got a single track is that if we put these signals around the opposite way, so try and picture it. So for example, if I put the other signal in here, the risk is you'll have one train sitting at this signal going south and one train sitting at this signal going north. So that's why you place them facing each other so that when a train reserves the route to the signal, he blocks the other signal. So when, when one train's reserving the route down to the edge of the tunnel, another train cannot leave this loop because he cannot draw a path to this signal here. Hope that is, uh, that is clear. But basically, following on signals in a single track section, very risky proposition. You only ever want to put one down in each direction and they have to be facing each other. Even then, you're mostly better off double tracking. It's just we can't because... I see you've gone with another brickworks there. Good call. Uh, as I was saying, we can't because of the, the lay of the land. Uh, but we need to put a dock in. Now, Tilly Thwaite is going to hate us, so they're not going to let us put a dock in, are they? They think we're appalling. <sighs> the, the planning I have exhibited in this series so far should be, should be commendable. Let's just plant a butt-ton of trees and see what they think of us now. Very poor. Well, I didn't improve things much, did I? Uh, let's throw some more trees down. That's going to be fun when we go to expand that line. Poor. Okay, well, if we tread very carefully, uh, in fact, I'm actually going to try and just glue the dock onto the existing station and have people walk between the two. Uh, I don't like doing it. I'd rather set up a tram network, but I'm afraid that we'll have to upset the town to build a tram network. So, good. Okay, so passengers will get off at the station. They'll just walk down the streets and uh, jump on the boat there. And uh, you know what it means when I build a boat? Eye candy time! I do like some eye candy. Do we have any new eye candy available? I'm gonna say no, it doesn't look like it. Uh, oh, 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 oh! Okay, that, that, that sounded bad. We do, we have access to the pleasure steamer. <laughs> pleasure steamer. That sounds funny. Uh, so if we build a little bit of a dock out here, like that, uh, we should be able to, is it moles? We should be able to stick one out like that stick one out. Uh, what are we saying? We are saying we are putting in, uh, let's put in, here we go. Oh, that looks cool. Look at that. Now we've got a, a parking area for a boat thing, possibly a boat. And we'll do the same on this side because I'm now enamored by that. Actually, no, let's, let's put something different down. Uh, what do we want? We want docks? No. Ships and moles. Here we go. We'll put down some uh, fishing boats down here. And obviously we will need to put a little light in so no one wangs into it. Uh, so we'll put down, uh, let's put down a red light. There we go. I, I'm, I'm assuming that's accurate. I don't know enough about boats as I've established. So we now have a ferry terminal set up here. Uh, our first destination is Reaway Re Island. Where's the best spot to put a ferry terminal in here? I'm reckoning, uh, where's the dock option? It's here, it's pretty close to the center of town. Our other destination, uh, conveniently near two lighthouses. Uh, we will need to adjust the landscape a smidge, but we can put a dock down there. Good. So we can now run a ferry between the two and a ferry in and out of Tillythwaite. Uh, so we'll put down a dry dock slash wet dock slash ship depot -y thing to build ships at. Uh, so what do we have our options are? We've got, we've got access to larger paddle steamers uh, 32, 45k an hour, 32k an hour. So the fast net paddle steamer could go a lot faster. Uh, it's also huge. What are you carrying? Oh, you're a passenger ship, apparently. You don't look like it. You look like a, a freight ship. I'm going to stick with the Sunk Rock Ferry. It's, it's been doing all right for us on our other, our other uh, nautical routes. Uh, so if you could go from Tillythwaite uh, to Reaway Island Docks, please. And uh, we'll need another ship to go from... Uh, don't drive through the wharf. Good. You're going to go around. Wasn't sure if the game knew the wharf was actually there or not. Uh, you can go to... Not too far. Okay. We'll need to put some boys down. Uh, let's put one down on that side of the island and one down on that side of the island. So the boats go in a circle. So you can go in there. You can stop there. And you can stop there. Good. And we'll also, we'd better assign you guys depots just in case you naff off into open ocean and get confused. Uh, so that's now Tillythwaite to Bodstow. And we'll also need a ferry from Till, uh, not from Tillythwaite, not involving Tillythwaite at all. 
I've said Tilly Thwaites too many times. From Reaway Island, uh, are you going to want to go via the boys as well? Probably. Uh, I'll include them just for just for the sake of it. Uh, you can go through the boys as well. And uh, if you ever need to go to a depot, you know it's back here. Uh, yeah, so that's fine. So off you go there. Uh, of course, we've got the usual slew of loss making whatever's happening, don't care. So again, this will take a little while to bed in. We've got to wait for passengers to realize we've got another connection to Tillythwaite. And we've got to wait for our passengers on the boats to realize that they can get to pretty much anywhere in the world now. We've, uh, we're sort of missing a couple of towns here near Stanbridge. Oh, I forgot about this giant island up here. Oh, that's going to be fun to connect up. We're going to have ferries coming up. We're going to have a separate rail network up here. And we can, we can have another island up here. See, I don't want to put a bridge across this section here either, so we're going to have ferries run across. Oh, we've still got so much to do. Here I am saying you can get anywhere in the world, but you can't. You can get to half of the world. Our reach is pretty good. We've gone from the top corner of the map to the bottom corner of the map now, and as far as the uh, eastern corner of the map too. So, yeah, next time we will, uh, I guess we'll continue expanding things, but uh, can I zoom out anymore? No, I can just look at the map. Uh, in that case, we'll finish off by admiring our passenger network and its overloadedness because it is fairly overloaded so we'll drag that the rest of the way out there yeah look at that so so far the only line that's not really well loaded is uh is the VTAL point line <laughs> that's still white everything else is at least green don't know what field our point's doing wrong but no one wants to go there and clearly we've got some a lot of demand on this ferry route here. That's that's pretty impressive, isn't it? But yeah, so as you can see, we've connected up pretty much half the map now, and we're only up to 1910. Oh, we're coming up to electric signals. Yay. Uh, but yeah, so I think I think we've accomplished a lot in the, the last uh, 50 years. And we've got at least 100 years worth of new vehicles to keep expanding with. And we'll probably keep the game going a little bit after that anyway. But until next time, I've been Teenick. This has been the new microphone. This has been Transport Tycoon. Hope you've enjoyed the episode, and I'll look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, later days.